Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for June 9th and 23rd. Um, you heard, there's been a lot of talk about the forest fires up in um, Canada that are calling smoky conditions. And this is a satellite image. You can see the smoke here moving down across the southeast. And it kind of varies in intensity. And currently now, um, it's getting more denser, more hazy look to the sky. Now, um, here is the air quality um, map showing uh, where the air quality is the worst. And the red is where it's the worst. Blue, well, blue is like the worst. Then here's not so bad. And the yellow and, and the red is, um, is a little bit better than the air up here. But it kind of varies. And um, this forecast can continue um, for the next day or so. And um, we'll take a look at the graphic. And it shows the area again, like the, the purple is where the air is the worst. The orange is where it not, then it gets good. Then, especially across the Northeast, it gets uh, worse through the pair. So it kind of varies in intensity as you go um, through the next day or two. Okay. Um, showed you this, showed you that. Okay, we're going to get to the forecast now. This will be for the period for June 9th and 13th. And you can see um, the pattern remains relatively the same. Um, more of a mega block with the letter omega here. We have up below here near Alaska and over the northeast. Up below here. So, and uh, with below normal heights generally across uh, uh, the southern states. Above normal heights here uh, across Canada. So during this forecast period, we will have uh, diurnally driven showers and storm from the southern plains into the Great Basin. And um, a system will be rounding the base of the upper low and possibly closing off this low here near or around the Ohio Valley. And this could bring some locally heavy rainfall to portions of the east central states. Now here you can see... Um, uh, where this is the GFS, this is the European. Basically, generally saying that the European might have a little more rainfall than GFS, but it remains generally the same. Okay, this is for the period for June 14th to the 18th. And what we have here, upper low here, uh, mixed height anomalies across here, uh, across the Arctic region, ridge off the western Can Canadian coast, trough here, Trough also across the northeast and with below normal heights generally across the mid latitudes. The flow becomes a little more zonal. So um, for this forecast period, I'm calling for map didn't change. Sorry about that. Above normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies nearly six degrees above normal. Below normal temperatures forecast here and for this region with anomalies of four to six degrees below normal for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here, and the probability of occurrence is near 35%, below normal precipitation forecast here, and for this region, probability of occurrence is near 35%. Now, as we go um, to deeper into the period, this would be for uh, June 19th to the 23rd, and the pattern becomes more zonal, but um, look at these maps again. Some of the models, like the NAEFS, still has a little bit of troughiness across the northeast, but doesn't go to the end of the period, as does the European ensembles. And the NAEFS keeps more of a zonal flow, but I think the pattern's going to be more like this for now. Um, so for this forecast period, calling for below normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for anomalies to be near six degrees below normal, generally across this area here. Above normal temperatures are forecast for much of this region here. And the probability of occurrence is forecast, uh, anomalies are forecast to uh, be near six degrees, uh, eight degrees or more above normal, especially across this area down here, across the Southern Plains. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and for this region. I think this might be cut off a little bit. I mean, I think it might be um, 
a little more drier here up around this area, but for now, I'm going to keep it this way. And um, the probability of occurrence is near 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for June 9th to the 23rd. Thanks for coming, Jim Munley's World of Weather, and have a good day.